at it with someone around the corner, there is some vocabulary you need to know if you want to go on holiday in Italy. Today we are talking about holidays at the seaside. So the first thing you want to think about is where you're going to sleep. Where are you going to stay when you go on holiday at the seaside? You can stay in a hotel or albergo. You can stay in a B&B or bed and breakfast. You can stay in a hostel, ostello. You can stay in campeggio, camping, or you can rent an apartment, so affittare un appartamento o una casa vacanza. Now, let's say we are in our hotel and we want to go to the beach. Beach in Italian is spiaggia. There are different types of beach. You can have spiaggia libera, which is free, and you can go there and you can bring everything you need with you because often spiagge libere don't have all the services and facilities you need. Bring your own stuff and just enjoy the sea and the sun. Or you can have a stabilimento balneare o lido o spiaggia attrezzata. If you want extra comfort or if you are with young children, it's best to go to spiaggia attrezzata this is a beach with facilities and extra services. For example, in Spiaggia Attrezzata, you can have swimming pools, activities for children, you can have a bar or cafe or restaurante, you have docce, you have bagni and cabine sometimes. Una cabina is where you can go and leave your stuff for the day, where you can get changed, uh, so it's secure. Normally you've got a key for it. And it's quite expensive, but if you want some extra comfort, um, I suggest you get one for the summer, but it's not necessary. What I really suggest um, if you have children or if you just like comfort is for an ombrellone con una sedia a sdraio so that you can sit down in the shade or just having somewhere to sit. If you don't like to sit on the sand or pebbles. Sometimes hotels have spiaggia privata, which is a private beach where you can access through the hotel and it's normally just for the clients of that hotel. Some hotels have stabilimenti balneari convenzionati, which are spiagge attrezzate that you can pay together with your hotel stay or you can have discounted price if you are staying at that hotel. If you have a dog with you, you want to look for spiaggia per animali or spiaggia per cani. Finally, you can have spiaggia naturista or nudista if you like to go on natural and leave your swimming costume at home. Now, what to bring with you? So this is some vocabulary of things and objects you want to bring with you to the beach. Telo da mare o asciugamano, un ombrellone. Maybe if you're not renting one, you can bring una sedia a straio. In your bag, borsa da spiaggia. You can put occhiali da sole, infradito, Cappello da spiaggia, costume da bagno, crema solare, materassino. And if you are a sporty type, you want to bring maschera boccaglio e pinne, una palla, una tavola da surf. And finally, if you want to bring something to eat with you, you will need una borsa frigo. If you are traveling with kids, you can bring with you paletta, secchiello, rastrello e formine to make beautiful sandcastles or just play in the sun, braccioli, salvagente. Now, if your beach is a lido or spiaggia attrezzata, you will normally find these things there. Ombrellone, lettini, bar, piscina, cabine, docce, bagni, giochi per bambini, and depending on the Lido, you can even rent some sporty equipment like pedalò or gommone, canoe, barche, banana, not the one you eat, and some activities you can do at the beach. Windsurf, kitesurf, paracadute ascensionale, moto d'acqua. These are perfect for you if you're very adventurous. But if you're just sporty, you may want to play beach volley, racchettoni, palla or mini golf. 
In most bars and lidi you can find the calcio balilla, it's the football you play with your hands, and some lidi have animazione, which means some people are going to entertain you, entertainment. So you can have some fitness classes done at the beach or just some entertainment for the kids. This is normally called mini club if your children can go and play with other children, a sort of childcare activities, and then construire castelli di sabbia with your kids. If you're someone that likes to relax, you may want to do these activities instead. Prendere il sole o abbronzarsi, leggere un libro, giocare a carte o fare la settimana enigmistica. La settimana enigmistica is a special magazine very traditional, you can find uh, still today, but it's been around for many years. And it's um, a quiz and puzzle magazine. I always do it when I go to Italy, but I suppose it's not that easy uh, for someone whose Italian is not their first language, but you can try and challenge yourself. Finally, one of the best things, if you like it, it's nuotare. We say nuotare or fare un bagno. So il mare can be mare grosso o mosso, or can be mare calmo. Here are some more words you can use to describe the water or the sea. So onde, acqua can be profonda or acqua basta. Acqua basta is really good for children, if you're traveling with children. And a famous area that has acqua basta is in Emilia Romagna, one region in Italy that's famous for having shallow waters that are really, really good for children. The beach can be spiaggia sabbiosa o spiaggia ciottolosa o con i sassi. Then we have a few more words. Fondale, conchiglie, scogli e riva o bagnasciuga. A useful word to know is fila. So when you go to a Lido, you can rent your ombrellone and sometimes they ask you if you want ombrellone in then a number fila so if it's prima fila for example you know you're right at the front near the riva now let's say we want something to eat so you can go to the bar and what can you find at the bar normally you will find ghiaccioli gelati bibite panini patatine Depending if the bar is a restaurant as well, you can find insalate or more complex dishes. You can even get caffè or aperitivo on the beach. So I am from Liguria and where I am from, people normally do this. They buy some street food, maybe some focaccia or maybe some pizza in panificio, in the bakery. And then they take it to the beach for their lunch. If you're bringing your own packed lunch, that's called pranzo al sacco. But you can also buy coconut from people that sell coconut on the beach. So sometimes you will see someone coming around with a bucket full of um, cold water and with some coconut in it. And they would shout, Cocco bello! That's a very typical thing I've seen in Italy and I haven't seen in any other country I've been in. Let me know in the comments if you have seen this before. In the same way you're selling coconut, you can find some people trying to sell you some interesting stuff like bracelets, sunglasses, clothes sometimes, or some beach equipment or toys for children, or shoes, sandals, and they're called venditori ambulanti. Okay, finally, I want to give you some tips. So when you go to a Lido or Spiaggia Attrezzata, if they have a swimming pool, you may need one of these. Una cuffia. You don't need that to swim in the sea, but you need that to swim in a swimming pool. Last summer we forgot to bring one because we are not used to it anymore and we had to use one of their spare ones. Otherwise we wouldn't have been able to go in. Now, if you want to have a doccia, so um, a shower, you can have doccia fredda or doccia calda. Remember to bring some coins with you because sometimes uh, you have to pay to have doccia calda. And in some places, maybe you have to pay for doccia fredda as well. So bring some spare change with you. If you forgot to bring something with you, there are many, many shops and I suggest you go there to buy your uh, things for the beach. 
there are some souvenir shops or sometimes in Edicola as well. Edicola is the place where, you, where they sell newspapers and magazines and sometimes you can find uh, things for the beach there as well. Finally, Lungomare is like a promenade and something else you can find if you like to dance or have a night out or going for a drink in the evening you have discoteche, pubs and bars sul lungomare. I hope this video has been useful for you and that you feel ready to go to your next holiday at the beach in Italy. If you want to see more content like this, subscribe to my channel and take a look at my next video about holidays in the countryside. I'll see you there. Ciao!